Good morning, peeps! I'm out here at Pinrose Commons. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be a high of 50 degrees today after we had a bunch of snow. I don't know if I'm going to end up on anything hard. First thing is, is to break in the GPX FSE 450R. I would like to get some hours on it. Some, not all, well, yeah, some hours, some mileage on it. And I would like to, uh, you know, just get out here on the roads at first and just ride around take some pictures of the bike you know so i have stuff for the uh rental page to post up i'll be honest with you you know you're gonna join me along in my experience i'm gonna have you follow along as you know starting this rental company so you have some ideas of what it takes what it's about and hopefully you find it interesting because i think we all have that dream i'm actually trying to implement that dream to do something in the moto field i feel like you know i'm too young to just be riding and doing youtube although that sounds like a dream to a lot of people it does you know get annoying not you know bringing in 120,000 a year which i could be and i and i and i'm not doing it so i'm out here um to try to get something started that i can do that i have passion with so you know that's going to be bike rentals a and m moto toys okay get the bike broken in and what i forgot today big mistake was tools i had them sitting there i was gonna bring tools and i, I started driving got part way down here and i'm like oh my god no tools so can't make any adjustments so uh, i'm hopefully hopefully that's just the rubber mounted because they're rubber mounted on this which is awesome a lot of people don't know on the gpx bikes they rubber mount the bars i mean you pay big bucks to brp and stuff to get rubber mount bars and okay it's on that's on okay not bad considering that's like the third start maybe that i've done i'm gonna kind of let it get a little warm here so we'll cut ahead you can see i still need some zip ties looks like i missed a few here on this bike i didn't tidy it up as much um, I ordered some really good zip ties, you know, actually the tie wrap zip tie brand, the man of the inventor of zip ties, I believe. I used some cheap white ones I had for over here, but I'm going to obviously zip tie all this nice and neat and probably do that when the bark busters come in from highway dirt bikes because otherwise I'll have to cut them and they're not cheap. The good ones are not cheap. They actually have a tensile rating our strength rating 50 pounds one zip tie and they're uv protected too so the good ones actually have a rating and they work and for a hundred pack it's like 20 bucks and i think they're like i want to say they were 14 inches long which should be good for most applications and it's just better if you're having a bike outside and you want some strength yeah like i don't mind using cheap ones in spots like around you know there and stuff to hold the guards because you want those ones to be able to fail anyways and that i wish i had my tools because that lever needs to go down some but it, it'll work today make sure i have rear brakes i don't know might have to bleed the brakes back feels like can't tell might be too squishy on the rear well i'll i'll have to uh I'll have to do that if that's needed. Okay, well, I think it's warmed up. Let's go ahead and pop her into gear. Just so you all know, it's a cable actuated clutch. So a clutch pull is pretty light, which I'm okay with. The cable is less likely to fail than say, say hydraulics you know just another fluid thing to worry about
Okay. Rear brake needs blood on this bike. <laughs> It's slowing down, but it's... The front one works good. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, it has brake pads. Simple stuff you want to check. Yeah, it's just, it's just blood like crap. So, um, yep. So, okay, that's why I do the shakedown test because I know, rear brake caliper, rear brake pedal, too mushy, it needs blood. Okay, believe it, the front one on this bike seems okay, so I got something. Started right up, I think I'm, yeah, I think I was in second or third. Oh yeah. <laughs> Brake seems to be pretty good. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> it slows me down, but it, it, it's definitely not um, not working too well for grip to stop the bike, lock the tire. Oh yeah, okay. Change the RPM. Range. Yeah, I didn't notice the rear brake in front of my house, but I wasn't going fast. So. Man, I love the sound of four stroke though. Just so meaty. Seems pretty snappy. Ooh, gotta be careful of this mud. Penrose mud is like slick. ATV trail. Well, I don't think I'm ready. Staying to where I can walk out of and get the truck to. Pretty dang good. Okay, I gotta put the goggles on. Front tire's working good, the mud is flinging up. <laughs> Oh yeah. 
this is where I'll probably go down not having a good rear brake but four stroke I do have some engine braking a lot more than a, a three stroke a three stroke a two stroke yes a three stroke I was thinking 300 <laughs> Keep hoping that rear brake will come back. So let's go ahead and stop. Clutch is in. Not bad, not bad. What do you all think? I think, man, the power is just unbelievable. It's there. I mean, it's probably not a, a modern name brand bike type power, but for your normal rider, I think it's pretty dang good. <laughs> For your average Joe, it's more power than they're going to use. Probably more power than they'll use on type of trails like this. I'll have to, once I get a plated, test it on the road, obviously. So, okay. We stopped. We started. Just want to make sure all that works. Like hiking back from here would suck, but it's not too far yet. It's also cool out too, so this bike's probably not going to get anywhere close to hot as what it it could. So I probably don't have to do the thermostat mod until until uh, you know summertime if it runs hot. But if it's somebody that can keep some pace. It's probably fine, honestly. Right. China also has a wide variety of climates like we do, being such a large country, so I would think, I would think they have it somewhat dialed. They're probably just expecting you to be moving. Now, if you're a, a new rider and you're like going like really slow, which is okay because, you know, new riders, that's what you do then yeah, it might overheat, it might get hot. <laughs> or it might not overheat, it might just get really hot. I will say, probably because Chinese, I'm guessing, have smaller feet than we do. I'm guessing, I don't know, so not criticizing, just saying. Just like the 300, same short shifter. So, I don't know, maybe that's something Gary can work on to so they actually have ship it to America with just a slightly bigger shift lever and because I do have a beta in the garage I can see how this attaches how that attaches and you never know I might have an extra from the XR days although I pretty much gave all of those parts um, but yeah I can try different shift shifters and, and see if any cross fit over. Of course, I could just buy one and send it to IMS and see if anything in their warehouse fits. And then they could add this to their bike list. I might do the, I might uh, look into that with a fuel tank too. Or just see if, if they get one, if they're willing to make one. So, yeah, you might want to let me know in the comments, like, yeah, I'm interested in a shifter. I'm interested in a bigger, larger tank. I know I am. I even think for a rental, just a, a three gallon would probably be ideal for Colorado. Oh yeah, suspension seems good, 
It does seem stiffer than the other bike. I think I'm still too high of a gear, but oh yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm cautious when I see this mud in Pinterest. It's slick. It's like clay. It's real. It's pretty dusty, not like telk, but it's pretty dusty. Woohoo. Okay. You know, I'm a four stroke guy. You didn't know that. That's why I like the XR 650R. That was a bad angle. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, some snow back here. Okay, I'm in first. This hill's steep enough with the sketchy rear brake situation. I'm just gonna take it easy. Now, I do wish that they made a aluminum skid plate for this. I'm going to look into that. Oop. Fan's on. Fan works. Whoa! Whoa! Oh yeah, some snow back in here on the ATV trail. I love leaving my tracks. That's pretty deep back here. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that... Oh, a tree branch not only hit my thumb, hit the side of my tummy. Oh, that hurt. I'm going to cry. Cooling fan number one, cooling fan number two. Two cooling fans. I can feel that heat. Wow. Wow. Oh, they turned off, so I could go like that. Maybe they just time out that the bike's off. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And again, this bike ships with a lithium-ion battery also. It, it is heavier. I do notice the weight, but I'm going to have to weigh it, just like I have to weigh the 300, because is it more than, say, an XR650R? Probably not, and I'm used to riding that big of a bike on on trails, on rocky terrain, so <laughs> to each their own. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the Jeep Road portion. <sighs> it's, it's still pretty snowy. I don't know, what do you all think? Let me know. Give me thumbs up in comments if I should hit the single track for the first outing. Should I do that or should I wait for the second outing? Probably less snow after today because it's going to be 50s. So I'm guessing all this will be melted. A lot of the stuff in there will be melted. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And give me those thumbs up. Hit that like in the th <laughs> hit those thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm to promote the video. Promoting the video helps the channel out. Helping the channel out means I can buy more bikes and do more videos. And remember, you can rent this bike at ammototoys.com. So check us out, everything in the description. You all stay well, stay safe, and make sure you get out there and ride. Even if there's snow on the trail, you can just putz around even if you're by yourself. Um, this trail, I feel comfortable doing, going down. If I was on the beta, it would be no questions asked. This bike has less protection, so there is that. So anyway, you all stay well and take care. Bye.